Hey everyone, welcome to the University of Minnesota Kirkston. We are doing a live campus tour for you this afternoon. My name is Amberly. I work in the admissions office. Um, so to just check some sound stuff, give us a like if you can hear us. Um, as we go through stuff, feel free to comment any questions that you guys have with what you're seeing or any questions about our Kirkston campus. Um, today we are going to focus on mostly the um, classroom and academic side of campus. If you are interested in watching videos about the residential halls, go back to our May episode. And then in July, we actually will be having another episode that focuses on the Wellness Center and the Athletics Facility. So here we are in our Welcome Center um, during the school year when we have visitors on campus. Um, this is where we will start our tours. So right now we are in Keele Building. Um, so this is where our tours start, our presentation, you meet with um, more admissions counselors and ambassadors to start your tour. So let's go. Right out here in the Keel Rotunda, above us on the second floor is our auditorium. So our auditorium hosts choir concerts, theater productions, um, we have a couple different clubs on campus that host big events for all students on campus. So they'll bring in a comedian or a hypnotist for some big on-campus events that we'll invite everybody up to the auditorium for. We'll head down this hallway um, next to our University Alumni and Relations Center. So for all of you alumni who are out there, give us a thumbs up for our amazing alumni office. And then down this hallway is kind of a mural and a photo history of our campus. The University of Minnesota Kirkston campus actually started out as an agriculture high school. It was a boarding high school for students to join in it. Um, then was at a two-year school and in 1993 is when we turned into a four-year University of Minnesota campus. Um, also in 1993, we started what we call our laptop program. And so over here it might be a little dark, but this was the original laptop that we gave all of our on-campus students. We are still continuing with our laptop program today, um, and this is our newest one that went out to in fall 2019, so kind of fun to see how far we've come with technology. Really nice thing about the Kirkston campus is we have Wi-Fi all the way from the horse barn to the softball fields, all the residential life buildings, all the classroom buildings, you will have Wi-Fi and be connected all over campus. Also included with that Wi-Fi, we have printers all over campus, so as I walk by some, I'll try and point some out. All black and white printing is free, and then we do have a color printer as well in the library. So another really nice perk of our campus and the technology that we have available to all of our on-campus students. Also speaking of computers, we do have a computer help desk, which is located right here in Keele. Um, since it is summertime right now, we don't have students on campus. All of the computer help stuff is going through the Twin Cities campus. But bring your laptop down here if something is broken, something's freezing, glitching, not saving quite right. Our computer help desk guys are fabulous and they will help you with any computer issues that you're having. Also, if you really do a number on your computer, um, our computer help desk will actually give you a loaner computer while they send out your computer for parts. So you're never without a computer, which is ideal in a college situation. Down here at the end of the hallway is our library. Our library houses thousands of books, journals, periodicals. We are also subscribed to a number of different e-journals, e-periodicals, e-library options. Um, and another perk of being part of the University of Minnesota campus is we actually have access to books at all of the U of M campuses. So if maybe we don't have something here that you need, but the Twin Cities campus does, we can actually request that book to be sent to us from the Twin Cities campus. It's another perk of the U of M system. Head down this way. The other really cool part about this side of campus is that all of the buildings are actually connected. So once you get over here today, or during the day for classes, um, you don't really ever have to go back outside, which is really nice in the winter when the wind is blowing a little higher. Our campus is super quiet right now. Um, we do not offer any on-campus summer courses. All of the summer courses that we do offer are offered as online courses. So it's pretty quiet around here. Um, the other nice thing, though, about it being quiet on campus during the summer 
is we do lots of construction and updating projects. So as we walk by, um, we'll see a couple little places that are getting a little bit of a facelift right now. Um, but it's a great time of year for our facility staff to be able to work on some projects um, to get campus ready for fall. You kind of take a peek outside this window. That is our early childhood center. Um, we do offer an early childhood education and elementary education. So that daycare center is a great place for students to do work study at. Um, and it is also a great hands-on lab for those students to get hands-on experience working with kids. We are now entering into Dowell Hall. This is one of the main classroom buildings on campus. Dowell Hall is three floors. Um, the first and second floor have a lot of lecture style classrooms. And then the third floor has all of our science labs, which is this summer's big renovation project. So we're gonna head down here quick to a couple classrooms. Feel free to comment, give likes, message us any questions that you are having. Oh, right here. So this is what an average classroom on campus would look like. So our average class size is 16 students. As you can see, this classroom holds 16 students um, more than comfortably. Some of our lecture class, classes excuse me, do get 25 to maybe 30 students in them. Um, all of our lecture rooms have whiteboards, projectors, screens, and outlets in all the tables and desks. Since we do give all of our on-campus students computers, our instructors really utilize technology and want students to have the opportunity to use that technology in the classroom. So, my computer is dead. It's never a good excuse why you can't participate. Since everybody has the same computers, I'm sure somebody else has a charger for you to borrow as well. This is one example of a Dowell classroom. Dowell is also home to many faculty offices, um, and faculty have their schedules usually posted on the door for each semester as to when their office hours are and when you can set up appointments. We also do have a business style boardroom on in Dowell, excuse me, um, which is set up really cool. So it's not set up like a traditional classroom. It is set up as more of a boardroom style classroom for our students to get that feel for presenting in a boardroom or maybe when they start doing their internships or um, post jobs after graduation. And then there is one other style of classroom over here in Dowell that has a couple layers. It's kind of a multi-layer horseshoe shaped classroom. Um, again, 16 students fits more than comfortably in here, and again, you can see the outlets in all of the tables. Probably one of my favorite things about this campus is how small it is and how accessible it is to get to all points of campus. You can walk from one end of campus to the other in 15 minutes or less. You don't have to worry about a bus system. You don't have to worry about getting to class 45 minutes early to park your car. Nope, you can wake up 10 minutes before class even and still make it to class on time. If we look out this window here to the south, that is our wellness center. On the other side of the wellness center is where all of our residence halls are as well. So a quick walk, a couple of little building jumps, not a whole lot of time that you have to spend outside. And outside to the north, which is kind of getting a little tricky to see with all the trees and leaves, the big blue and tan building out there is UTOC, our University Teaching and Outreach Center, um, which is home to all of our equine and animal science faculty. So you can walk from your residence halls all the way to the horse barn in 15 minutes or less. Super nice. We'll head down this way and we'll start getting to some of our student center and dining option facilities. With me today, also, we do have two other tour guides. We've got Paul and Maggie. Maggie, how about you tell us what is your favorite part about campus? Yeah, well, hi everyone. I'm behind the camera right now, but I am also an alum along with Amberly and Paul. I graduated about a year ago in 2019 and probably my favorite part of campus is the people, hands down. It's definitely a family environment and whether it's your professors or your friends, they will always have your back. 
So we're actually going to sneak into one of our labs here. Cool part about something that Crookston offers as well is opportunities for undergraduate research projects, which is super cool. A lot of students might not get a chance to do research until graduate school. Um, so if you are interested in graduate school, doing a research project while here at Crookston is a huge resume booster. So this is one of our cool labs, lots of equipment, um, some of the newest technologies that our students are able to work with hands-on. A lot of the research projects, well, actually all the research projects, you also work with a faculty member, which is really nice. So you guys work together, um, you always have that leadership and kind of someone else watching over your shoulder, make sure everything's going well. Um, and there is also pay for research projects. So you do get paid for the time that you spend researching on campus. So in some ways it's kind of like an on-campus job, but you're doing research, so that's pretty fun too. Do we have any questions here coming in yet, Maggie? Mm -mm, no? Not yet. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yes, please do send us messages, comments on our videos, all that good stuff. So. Hi, guys. Hi. So, Paul, what is your favorite part about our Crookston campus? Sure. So I actually graduated a few years ago, back in 2012. but. The campus has stayed a lot the same. It's still all about the people, still all about small class sizes. So that's what I really enjoy is just the small feeling of community. Absolutely, for sure. Upstairs right above us is Brown Dining Hall. Um, it is closed right now. Since our campus is closed for the summer, we do not have any dining options, but that is our all you can eat dining option. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Fridays, and brunch and dinner on Saturdays and Sundays. When you get a meal plan, you have meals and Eagle Bucks put on, or Flex Dollars put on your U card or your student ID. Um, so when you go up to Brown for lunch, you swipe your U card and it deducts one meal from your meal plan, and then you go through the line as many times as you want. So that is one of the dining options. The other one as well uses your Flex Dollars, and that can be used at the Eagle's Nest, where we have a sandwich shop caribou coffee, a convenience store, and Regal's Grill, which offers burgers, chicken strips, french fries, and things like that. Um, once again, all of our food options are closed right now for some deep cleaning and a little bit of remodeling through the summer, but all this is open to students um, during the school day all the time. We do also have one other grill across campus in our evergreen, um, our evergreen apartment hall, and that one is open in the evenings, so it's open for more of your late night munchy snacks, late dinners. Also around town, we have a number of different restaurants, fast food places, we have Hugo's for grocery shopping, and also a Walmart. So everything is really close. Walmart is even within walking distance of campus. Amberly, we actually had a question to come in from Evelyn. She wanted to know what kind of facelift are the science lab getting? Is it a general remodel or something more specific? I actually have not heard yet, and so I'm super excited to be able to go tour them. Um, I know for sure, like a lot of the flooring, maybe some of the countertops and storage, and hopefully some of the equipment as well, but I am not 100% sure. So when we do are able to go up to the science labs, we will definitely be sending pictures, or maybe even do a little bit of a video tour when we are able to go up there after construction. Our next area of campus, this lounge right here is called the International Lounge. So if we come a little closer, you can kind of see the tips of all the flags peeking out um, up above the ceiling. There is a flag that represents a country that we've had an international student from. About 10% of our student population is actually made up of international students as well. So kind of a cool place for them to showcase all the different countries and that we have students here. This is a really nice area for students to study, or maybe grab lunch from the Eagles, or a lot of textbooks now are going to the ebook option. So that's totally up to you as a student to decide, are you someone who likes to read your textbooks online, or are you someone who definitely wants to come pick up the physical copy from our bookstore? And then the next area that we have here is the Student Center. So this is, during the school year, kind of the living room of campus. This is where students are gonna hang out a ton between classes or after classes get done. Um, as we continue to walk by, you'll see that we have a foosball table, an air hockey table, pool, all of that stuff is accessible to our students. 
The info desk that is also located in the student center is where students can pick up packages if students, if parents send them anything or uh, maybe they do a little bit of online shopping. All of the packages get delivered to the info desk and then the info desk will send you an email saying, hey, you've got a package, bring your U-card and come pick it up. Also down at the end, we do have a PO box and a mail room. So all students have a PO box that they get as well for their four years here at Crookston. Um, they'll get a key to it and at the end of the, before they graduate, they return the key and they get their mailbox deposit back, which is really nice as well. So doing some more deep cleaning, carpet cleaning over here in the student center right now. Also right off the student center is our student health office. During the school year, we do have a nurse on campus Monday through Friday, um, and then a family nurse practitioner comes in once a week as well. So if you can't quite make it to a clinic, but maybe you want to check in with the nurse and say, hey, is this something that I need to go in for? She's great. She will be able to help you. That is a free service for students as well. Then as we continue walking, kind of we'll see through the bar stools, we've got those pool tables, a big TV, foosball, and air hockey. Now we've got another lounge right off the room, excuse me, through the hallway. This is the prairie room, um, a great place, lots of windows. You can see all four seasons that we celebrate up here in Northern Minnesota. Um, it does close its doors, so this is a really nice quiet study area as well to get away from some of the noise that sometimes comes with the student center. Again, we are hoping to start being able to do some on-campus tours here starting late summer, early fall. Um, so hopefully for some of you, this is just like a teaser tour until you get to come to campus and see it in person for yourself. Um, next building that we're gonna walk into is Hill Hall. If you go down the stairs, that is the Office of the Register and Office of Financial Aid. So if you have any scholarship questions or tuition questions, that's a great place to go and get some advice for how to pay for college, what are the, my different type of loan options. And then the second floor is some classrooms and third floor is office. So we'll go check out a classroom up in Hill as well. But then I did just wanna point down this hallway is Owen Hall and at the end of the hallway is our admissions office. So that is where our admission counselors live. That is where if you send in your application and your transcripts, all of that gets down, whoop, excuse me, gets sent down to the admissions office in Owen Hall. Hall generally hosts a lot of our agriculture classes. So I was in Hill a ton, and I was also out at the horse barn a ton for my equine classes. That's all. I would say for me, it was a pretty even split between Dow and Hill. And I was a sport and recreation management major, so I was more business department, but again, we had classes in every building. I think I even had classes over in Owen Hall. Yep. How about you, Maggie? Uh, so I majored in communication with minors in marketing and animal science, and I would say I had a lot of classes actually in this hall right here, Hill Hall, um, as well as Dow, who, where the construction was, where they're getting a little bit of a facelift. So it was nice to have a variety, and you weren't always in like one building the entire time. Definitely, and as we've been walking through it, walking through everything, you can definitely see that a lot of the classes and buildings are close. So even if you have back-to-back -back classes, one at nine in one building and one at 10 in another building, you don't have to worry about running late. We give you time between classes and it is a short walk. So we're gonna pop back outside here quick. where all the buildings are connected. If you can kind of see through the trees, you're gonna see a really blonde brick building kind of right in front of us. That is Peel, that's where we started. So we did this whole side of campus without going outside. So that's where your dining is, your student center, the two of the main classroom buildings, student health. So all of that stuff, like I said, if you come over to campus for, to start your classes, you really don't have to go back to your res hall until everything is done. Um, and then the Wellness Center and the Athletic Center, again, log on in July to get a video tour, live tour of that. 
And then behind that is our residence halls. And again, we did tours of all of our residence halls in May. This big green open space that you see in front of us, that's kind of the center or the heart of campus. We call that the mall. Um, it is a fabulous area for students to hang out and study um, during our August and usually only May months <laughs> before it starts snowing in October. We wish we could spend more time outside studying. Really cool thing is there's actually underground Wi-Fi throughout that whole area. So you can lay out on a blanket or some lawn chairs and study or watch Netflix while being outside and enjoying the outdoors. Um, during events like Final Friday Fun Day, we try and have some stuff out here on the mall. Um, we did a powder puff football game last year. A lot of our welcome weekend activities in August will happen out on the mall. So also a great area for clubs to meet and tons of fun activities to happen. So that's kind of our tour for today of the main academic side of campus. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message the University of Minnesota Crookston on Facebook, send an email to your admissions counselor, anything like that. We will be happy to answer any questions that you have about campus. And fingers crossed, we will all see you in a few months when we get back to some regular on campus.